all right so welcome back crew and welcome back for another video so today guys we're actually going to be hooking up the neutral safety switch um and this is going to be a quick diy video um i've looked all over the internet and um the interweb guys on youtube and everybody got um videos on how to hook up your neutral safety switch on the foil 60e or foil 80 but there's not nothing in detail far as how to hook up the wires um, of course you guys know i'm working on everything i do is basically going to be like aftermarket um, and it's not going to be just a regular plug and play so i want to use um, the neutral safety switch on this foil 60e with my 55 chevy pickup truck so i have a psi harness guys um, i also use the 22 wiring um, wiring harness from speedway motors and we've got to make all that stuff jive okay so there's nothing on a, it's, it's nothing in on the internet um, going into detail small details as far as how to actually go into the foil 60e um, neutral safety switch mechanism and actually finding the wires to hook it up to my neutral safety switch on the dash so so guys that's what this video is going to be about hooking up the neutral safety switch and doing it yourself guys so stay tuned for this video Alright crew, so this is the neutral safety switch here on my Foil 80 transmission. And what we need to try to find out is we need to get a hot and we need a ground. And these wires are the ones that we're going to be testing. So we need to take these off and we're going to strip them. And I'm going to show you how I figure out what is the ground and which one is the positive. And like I said, there's nothing on YouTube explaining how to hook up your neutral safety switch to this all right to your new safe switch so let's go ahead and try to get back here strip these wires and we're going to put a test on them to see which one is your ground and which one is your hot so you've got one of them that's going to be coming from your ignition switch down to one of these wires and then this other wire is going to go from here to your starter solenoid okay and that's how you have to that's why you need a positive in the ground all right so i'm going to show you the, how to hook everything um, I normally just give me a little battle pack I got two of these um, I like to use to just test my circuits and everything so uh, what you want to do is you want to get your your negative and your positive ground out and I always just hook it up here that way I have um, hook my my let's see if I got one hand it's just hard to do it one hand I'll show you I put my negative on my negative terminal there for my test light and then I just took my test light up to the negative part of it like that okay to the negative part and then I take my test light and I put one of these I already went and stripped my wires underneath on the neutral safety switch and then the wires I show you underneath there I put um, my positive on just one of the, the um, one of the leaves at, at a time and then I check the other light and as soon as it lights up and is you got to have it in park and I'll show you down below make sure that it's in park okay and park is gonna be all the way forward okay so you got it all the way forward that should be park and I already you can see I already stripped my wires so we're going to go ahead and test the circuit to see which one lights up, see if we can get a positive and a negative. All right, so it's kind of tight underneath there. Hopefully we can get here. So I just try one of these lights here. I will put it here. This is a black wire. Let it hang there. And you can see my light. So when this lights up in part, that will be a positive so this is in a tight spot all right and i have to go through each one of my lights why is it in park
It is just a process of elimination. So none of these lights came on. I want to make sure it's in part. Yep, it's in part. So none of those lights was hot. So let me go ahead and try another one. All right. Now, hopefully you guys can see it. All right. So as you see that lit up, let me just try another one. All right. So all these other wires are dead. Okay. So you can see that it lit up. So now when I put this out of park, this light should go off. See that? It went off. It went on. All right. So we basically found it is these two wires, this wire here. So even if I would reverse it, it doesn't really matter which one you use. So even if I reverse the continuity of it, that this light should come on. All right. So you see that it came on. If I take it out apart, it cuts off. Then I'll take this. It came back on. So basically it's the green and pink wire are the two that we need. All right. So that's how you find your neutral safety switch. But basically one of these, I run one of these for a magnetic switch coming out. And then this one here, the bottom one, which is the pink one, that will go into my solenoid on my starter. And that's how you hook up your neutral safety switch. So, I All right. So now since we found our positive and negative wire, we're going to go ahead and hook up the neutral safety switch off the back of the switch. And this is the purple wire. This is already crimped there. Don't forget to use your shrink wrap. We're going to use the butt connectors. Good and tight. Shrink wrap. And then I go down to my um, bottom post and I put the other one on, on that one. And really quick, before we get underneath the truck, um, so the other the neutral station switch, you go in that 22 wiring um, harness we got from Speedway Motors. It actually comes with an extra uh, purple wire there for your neutral safety switch. And this is the wire we're going to use to um, go from your switch to the solenoid. And you just go in there and get that little row there. You can use that for your switch. So we're going to go ahead and put the ends on that and it'll be ready to go. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and try to isolate these wires. Like I said, bear with me. It's going to be kind of hard to get to them. We already know which ones we need. And these are dead, so really don't have to do nothing to them, but I don't want them touching anything. What I like to do is, I always put the opposite end down here. That way that it doesn't make a difference, but that way that you won't get them confused. She's good to go. All right, crew. So real quick tech tip. So this is basically the last step. Now we got to go to the solenoid. So I already made my little clip here to go to the solenoid. And one thing that I normally put on any fittings I think may get wet, I put some liquid tape on the bottom of it. That way 
If it's upside down, I'll see if you can focus on that. There you go. Liquid tape. And this is the liquid tape that I use. Right here, black liquid tape. 